This activity, you're going to take a look to specifically at the distance from the sun to the earth and see how that changes throughout the year. You're going to have to click this ruler tool. And if it doesn't pop up, you have to click your sun, click and then drag. Click and drag to the earth. And here are your units down here. So first I'd pay attention to what's called the astronomical unit. A and U stands for astronomical unit. This is a unit that we typically use in the solar system because it's the distance between the earth and the sun. So the distance between the earth and the sun is one AU, one astronomical unit. Some other things you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. You can play and pause to allow it to move and as it's moving, you can see the number changing. You can move forward and backwards by a single day by this forward and backward. Notice how the date changes by one day. So we can really narrow down the specific day that we are closest to the earth, I'm sorry, closest to the sun and farthest away from the sun. Once you get close by looking at your AU, you'll see that there will be days where the AU is the same. So even though I'm clicking ahead, I'm still finding the same. We're going to take a look at this top number up here. This stands for degrees, minutes, and seconds. We're not going to get into this unit too much, but pay attention to the minutes and the seconds. If I'm looking for the smallest number, I'm going to look at those to see if they're decreasing. And right now it's decreasing. So I can click day by day until the number starts to increase again. So you can find the specific day that we are closest and farthest from the sun. You can go to a specific day if you want by clicking here. So I can go to 2019, I can go all the way back to sometime in BC. You can select the specific day and it'll take you right to it. If your measuring tool went off, you can just click it and add it again.